if you could put to words the frustration, the emotions of the exit as you guys had tonight and just kind of ending the season the way that you guys now have. Yeah, I mean, disappointing no matter um, how it ends if you don't win the whole thing. So um, obviously this one hurts um, a lot just because of how it went down. So. Um, yeah, all the emotions that you mentioned, frustrated, disappointed, um, you know, just we got beat, we got to give credit to the Diamondbacks, they played great, um, hit well, pitch well, and um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say, it's just uh, obviously a disappointing end. For you personally, just kind of speaking of a disappointing end, does it make you, I guess, how do you then approach the offseason for you personally? Well, I'm not sure, yeah, I just obviously horrible way to end it uh, personally, but that's ultimately not, you know, important. That's just how we, you know, how I didn't help the team win the, the series, you know, and that's that's the most disappointing part, letting your guys down and things like that. So, um, process it however you best you can. I don't even know what that means, really, but, um, yeah, I just go from there. Every year's a little bit different, but how do you kind of explain going out of this fashion the first round, two years in a row? How do I explain it? Yeah, like, well, is there anything you can explain? I can't really yeah. explain it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Kirsch, how will you approach this this offseason, personally, mentally, and, and, and thinking about your future beyond the uh, season? I'm not sure about that either. I'm not sure how it's going to work. Clayton, I know you're ready to go tomorrow. Um, you know, eighth inning there, right? Wong gets that walk. You have Betts Freeman coming out. Just, you know, at that point, as you're watching the game, how hopeful were you that, you know, things would turn there? But, yeah, you know, we had great at-bats. Um, you know, even in that last inning, CT hit that ball. That had to have been a homer in a lot of parks, you know. So um, we were right on the cusp the whole game and um, one swing of the bat away. And sometimes they go over the fence and sometimes they get caught at the wall. So, you know, it's easy to say it's just baseball. But ultimately, we just we got beat in most of the facets of the game. So um, especially starting pitching, which is uh, disappointing. Baseball is such a timing game. When you see what happened last October and this October, not just to you guys, do you think there's something with the format that you need to consider changing? Look, it's hard. I mean, pitching maybe not so much, but obviously offensively, these guys are so used to playing every day. So um, I get it, extra teams and um, you know more money, all that stuff. I get it, but uh, I do think that. I mean, I, I'm not a hitter, but it does seem like it's a bit of a challenge for guys. It's not an excuse, though. I mean, at the end of the day, we had a good opportunity, and um, you know, we should have won two out of three, three out of five. I mean, you, you said over the last couple of years, it's always year, year to year for you. Um, at this point, you're talking about processing it. Is there anything different about this offseason if you go into it compared to the last two? I think so. Yeah, I'll just try to. Well, yeah, but I'm not going to. We'll see. I'm not sure. I don't know how to answer that right now. Clayton, well, I mean, what is the feeling like of two, three hours ago you were thinking about pitching tomorrow? Now yeah, versus contemplating. It's a. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously you're focused on pitching and, you know, getting ready to face the guys again. And um, I think just, yeah, the mental letdown now of knowing that you're done for the season. And, um, you know, there'll be a physical letdown too. Your body will let you know the season's over. So. All that stuff, man. It's just all, all stuff that's no fun unless you win the last game.